Okay, my name is Gregory Joseph. The purpose of this video is to uh, demonstrate the user experience when using the, ad the admin portal. Um, I am part of the team that worked on the infant food frequency questionnaire uh, version 4.0, worked on this during the summer of 2020. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So once you put in the URL that's in the documentation, it will take you to uh, this login page. Put in your login ID, which is admin, and the password that is in the documentation. And click on login, and it will log you in. Um, should not receive this message. Um, so once logged in, you're by default, you're in the food items tab which um, has a couple of features that we added on during um, our development um, process. So you have the list of the items. Um, these are the very items that also appear in the questionnaires that the parents would fill out. So one of the requests that we had from the product owner was to have the ability to um, edit these documents. And so once you click on these now, um, you do have the full ability to edit um, the information. So the, so the user here, in this case an administrator, would have the ability to go in and make changes to uh, the particular item. So um, just to go, before we go deeper into that, one of the other things that we did change here as well is they wanted the ability to resort um, the list here. So you'll notice that formula is now at the top of the list and um, I can navigate away from there and return back to it and formula will remain at the list. So you do have the administrator now has the ability to resort the list um, based on feedback that they're getting from the people who are actually filling out the questionnaires, parents or maybe the clinicians who are reviewing, reviewing the questionnaires and perhaps sort out and make changes to how the questions and how the options are ordered. Uh, so for now, I'll go ahead and move breast milk back to the top of the list. Um, and again, you can, um, you, this is saved directly to the database. So um, you can log out, log back in. This makes the immediate change. Once you click and drag it into a different position, it's immediately written and reordered permanently in the Mongo database. Um, so going back again to say, let's say if you wanted to go ahead and edit breast milk per se, you can go ahead and make the changes that you needed to make here. Um, you can make changes to the servings. You can make changes to, um, let's change here to the alcohol content, for example. Um, you can make all these changes here and you can update the item. Um, with all of the requisite parts. And let's make sure we filled out all the areas we needed to fill out. It's milk. And you can update the food item, right? And you see the changes that are saved um, here made to it. So we can go back here, um, make the changes to here, make the changes to here. Um, And I think we erase this. That does not belong there, right? So undo these changes and um, update the food item. And oops, forgot to change the name back. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove these and update the food item. Okay, so that's back to the way it was before. Um, you can also add in a new item if you wanted to. Um, and so let me just create a test item. Um, put in the servings. Times we won. Um, and whatever um, here. Uh, we'll just call it milk. And we'll call this milk. And let's just say it's 130% of the iron requirement. Um, you add the food in. The food is successfully added in. Um, it appears on the list here. Um, and you can make changes as well here to move it. Um, and then 
Um, so that would be a way for you, the administrator, to add another item to this list if there is something in the future um, that they wish to add in. Um, this is where you would come and do it under the new food. So let's go ahead and just delete that since we don't actually need it. Um, let's delete that. Okay, so that item is removed. All right, so the next tab um, we have is a list of the clinicians. Um, I'm sorry, the list of the clinics that are actually in the program. So this is where the administrator would go in to add in a new um, doctor's office or hospital that's going to be participating in the program. And so you simply just put in a new clinic. In this case, we'll call it um, Frank's House. Um, and location is somewhere. Um, and you can go ahead and add the clinic. And that clinic is then added in here. OK, so that's available. Um, by default, it does, doesn't put a clinician here. Um, but if you were to go, let's say if you wanted to edit Mercy Hospital, you can go in here and edit Mercy Hospital and change the head um, clinician that's there or that's responsible or the person administrating the program at that particular location. So you can make those changes and edits. Um, so let me go ahead and update that back. Um, what you can do is when you go to create users, which is the next tab, um, you can actually um, select users and you can add the user um, into a particular destination. So in this case, I can change user clinician five to Greg's house or I can change the clinician five to FIU clinic. Um, the reason in this case clinician five was there is because um, prior to doing this demonstration video, I created clinician five as kind of a test creation and it was assigned to Greg's house. So once I delete Greg's house, clinician five, um, simply goes to being unattached, it's not removed. Um, and that's for the consistency of the data, of course. Um, so if I delete Greg's house, clinician, fives would not be, clinician five would not be attached to a clinic, but if I add Greg's house back, then clinician five would be reattached automatically to, um, to the clinic that um, it was there. Uh, previously. So here again, you can go ahead and create new users. You can create a parent user if you wanted to, and you're affiliated with a particular clinic. Um, and so you add in the user, and then all of a sudden you have a new parent that is also affiliated with Greg's house. Um, just as you added these for the users, you can go in and delete the user as well. And the clinician is deleted. Um, just to show how these are linked, so I'm going to go back to the clinic and I'm going to delete Greg's house. All right, so that's no longer one of the clinics. And parent five is no longer attached to a clinic, so it's just open. So um, just in case if a clinic drops, that doesn't necessarily mean that the parents um, who have been filling out the um, surveys um, are all removed, so their data will remain, um, and vice versa. So if a parent is removed, of course, it, it wouldn't remove um, anything else that they're attached to, so there's some independence there. Um, there are some filters that are, that are here as well, so you can filter to show particular types only, um, and you can search for a particular um, person as well one okay and so it is um it will look for in either case um so it's not case sensitive per se um it will give you all the results that come up you can even filter by a given clinic as well so you can see everything's affiliated with um, fiu clinic or everything that's affiliated with um, mercy hospital okay so that's the user tab here um, again you have the ability to add new users here in the clinics you have the ability to add new clinics here um, you're also able to see um, all of the questionnaire results um, from the administrative portal as well. And it's pretty much the same thing that happens with the parents and the clinician portals. It will give you the details um, in relation to the, um, if it's above, below, 
um, recommendations or if it's normal in line with recommendations um, on that given um, questionnaire. There's, you're able to expand the results so that you can actually view the results. And you can actually collapse it from down here. Um, or again, if you're still in the upper section, you can collapse it from up here as well. And you see there's quite many, a few of them that we filled out during the course of um, testing. And then here, we also have the recommendations. And these are typically the recommendations that are displayed to the parents. Um, as far as these are pretty much an educational effort to let the parents know what the child should be taking in on a daily basis. And one of the things that the PO, one of the major differences between um, version 3.0 of the, of the project versus um, the version 4.0 that we're leaving behind is that we had to go in and make changes to how these recommendations were displayed, um, which required the CSS changes. And we also had to give the admin um, based on the PO's requirements, the ability to go in and edit the text that's here. Um, you never know what's going to change in the future. So um, we implemented the ability to kind of just click on the text that's there and you're able to open it up and you can do them all at once, but you can click update and this is immediately saved again to the database. Um, so if you, if you navigate away from it, you return back to it. That information is already stored, changes are there immediately. Um, and it makes it nice and easy for the administrator to go in and make global changes to these recommendations. So um, whatever changes occur here in the admin portal would appear for both clinicians and appear for the parents as well. Um, so this was um, an important feature um, as well as getting the web deployment. This was an important feature for the product owner and we we're able to get that done here and changed here. Um, so that's it. To recap, you've got the food items. Um, you're able to sort the items here. You've got the clinics. You're able to add clinics in here. You've got the users and you're able to add um, and delete users from here as well. And you've got the questionnaire results, um, which you're able to view um, all of the questionnaires from all of the different places, um, different clinics um, in one place as the administrator. And you're also able to make global changes to the recommendations um, from here as well in the admin portal. And so that once you're done, you can pretty much log out and that will successfully log you out of it. All right, and that's it for the administrative portal.